What is going on everybody? Shock Radio here. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be farming up some samples in Helldivers, the new Democratic Detonation Warband just released. So we need all kinds of samples because with that they also released some new ship module upgrades. I'm almost done getting all of my module upgrades so I figured I'd share a few different ways that I farmed up some samples. That's right, I'm actually gonna talk about a few different ways. In this particular video, we are gonna showcase the Blitz mission, which is a 12 minute mission, search and destroy kind of deal. You go around closing bug holes, picking up samples and getting out quickly. But I also wanna make some other mentions of a few different ways you can farm samples as well. So before we get into this Blitz mission, I do want to say that the Retrieve Essential Personnel is also a great way to farm up samples. You have to go to a defense campaign, so you have to wait for a defense mission to be active. There are quite a few right now, so you can hit that mission up. It is a 15 minute mission. Now, the reason I don't really favor that mission over the Blitz mission is because it's, it's very, very hit or miss whether you're going to complete the mission or not. Now, the samples on Retrieve Essential Personnel are more condensed and uh, isolated in smaller areas. So you do get more samples from the points of interest, but the map itself has the same amount of samples. And to me, it's just generally harder to retrieve all the personnel out, especially if you're playing with randoms. They might not be with the program of like, you know, how to split up, divide the teams to farm samples and complete the objective. So Blitz is always kind of my favorite over that one. Now, I do want to make some other mentions. You can do missions like Purge Hatcheries. I really like that one. It is a 40 minute mission technically, but you can get that one done in probably like 20 to 30 minutes and get out of there with samples with the right crew. It is kind of the similar aspect, a just giant search and destroy mission, running around the map, closing bug holes, destroying eggs in the term and the automaton, automaton side of that, you're just destroying fabricators or destroying the uh, command bunkers. The same thing as purge hatcheries. So the automatons have the identical missions that we're talking about here, but to me, it's a bit easier to farm up samples with the bugs but choose your opponent however you will. So anyway, why the Blitz mission is my favorite? Well, it's going to come down to the time and the amount of samples you get. I would recommend doing a level 6 to level 9, depending on what you're comfortable with. I find level 7, 8 pretty good. Now, we're also going to talk about some tips and tricks for getting the most samples in these short time frame for the Blitz. I was pretty lucky. I got paired up with randoms. I've been playing with randoms pretty much all day since the uh, uh, Democratic Detonation released. Uh, so a few tips is to split up in this particular Blitz mission. You want to go 2v2 and uh, to cover the most of the map. And these guys played perfectly with me. Uh, the 2v2 also in case one person gets taken out, his partner can reinforce him close to his samples, his kit, uh, all that good stuff. Now for me, my build, I'm actually using the new weapons. I'm using the crossbow, which has been a lot of fun. Um, I've used it with a stun grenade because I want to keep distance. I paired it with the explosive resistance armor. Uh, the armor is lightweight, so I do have speed. And I am using the new grenade pistol to close bug holes. Very fun combo. It is lacking a little bit in the DPS, but it definitely delivers some boom boom. That is for sure. And the grenade pistol definitely came in clutch for closing bug holes. So another trick for getting out the most samples you can in this particular mission is to have one or two players be kind of the runner. Uh, it's always good to drop off your samples at the extraction point. Hey, yo. You can do this by holding down on the D-pad in PlayStation. I'm not quite sure on how to do it on PC, but if you ever have a few minutes and you're close to the extraction, just go ahead and drop your samples off at the extraction. That way, when you are ready to extract, you can just pick up all your samples and get out quickly. Get there, now, for this particular mission, another thing I want to talk about is how to get a little bit more time than the 12 minutes that's allocated. And that is by going into overtime when the destroyer leaves low orbit. 
for these types of missions, you definitely want to, in my opinion, let the destroyer leave, which is another reason it really does help to have all of your samples at the extraction waiting to go. That way, if, got, if anyone gets taken out and it's down to one or two people to get out, they can just quickly pick up the samples. When the destroyer leaves low orbit, if you guys did not know this, uh, you will not be able to call reinforcements. You won't be able to call in any airstrikes, resupplies, anything like that. So you got to be uh, keep that in mind. But the whole idea is you will be able to kite enemies away from the extraction. Uh, a big reason it is it is kind of beneficial is because you don't have to actually defend the extraction for the two minutes or the three minutes. So enemies are not spawning and kind of swarming the extraction. You can actually just stay alive and run kind of around the extraction or away from the extraction or use the extra time that is given to you uh, when it goes into overtime to uh, farm up some extra samples, pick up samples, get any anything else you can, clear any objectives you might be able to clear uh, before you have to get out. So definitely, you know, waiting for overtime is super helpful uh, when you're you're trying to make the most out of the XP, the samples, all that stuff, the super medals, super credits, just just everything in general. Getting the most out of these uh, short missions is always very very beneficial. And a few tips for running these types of blitz missions offhand uh, when you're spawning in. Uh, I like to spawn in right on a hot spot. As you might have noticed in the beginning of this mission, we just so happened to land on the radar detector. In a lot of other cases, you'll land on the bug nest or the fabricators and be able to clear the objectives really, really quickly. Uh, the faster you can clear objectives in this mission, the better it is for your samples and all that good stuff. Uh, in, the, in this particular mission, look for samples all around the bug nest. Uh, all around the fabricators that you destroy. They're going to be littered everywhere, all in the points of interest. There are just samples all over the map, really. So you can you can get anywhere from 10 to 30 plus samples in this short amount of time. It might not always go perfect, but usually average, I always get 10 or more samples. And when it goes really, really good, it goes very, very good. You might use your resupplies or your, your uh, reinforcement when you're calling in reinforcements to land the hell pods on the bug holes or um, enemy fabricators. I've even thrown my SOS beacon, as you may have seen in this match, to close bug holes uh, to save on grenades and things like that. So all in all, it's just a really, really fun mission to do. You get a lot out of it from, from not only samples, but XP and medals, and it's just a lot of fun. You definitely want to try and make sure you communicate with your team uh, your intentions in this mission. You know, if you're looking for samples, just make sure they're aware. Hey, I'm looking for samples. Uh, we should split up. You know, those kind of things. Type in chat, get on the mic for a few minutes. Definitely helps out the team so they know your intention. Another big tip when it comes to these types of missions or any kind of mission when you're specifically looking to uh, gain resources and look for points of interest is to make sure that you are picking a map that doesn't have a haze on it for it, when you're picking terminated bugs a lot of maps will have the spores on it where you can't really see the map or where you're going you probably want to pick a nice clear map if at all possible that way you can uh, pick the points of interest out and pick the the hot spots that you want to the objectives you will need to clear and uh, farm the samples from a lot more a lot easier when the when the map is not covered and you can actually see the radar especially if you're using the scout armor and things like that, it definitely comes in handy. All in all, this mission went pretty dang well. We ended up getting a lot of samples out in a very short amount of time. Now, it doesn't always go this well, but out of all the other methods um, and all the other missions for farming samples, to me, this is personally the most fun and so far the most reliable for not only completing objectives, but getting samples out. Um, in a fast amount of time. So I, I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, new ship upgrades and uh, the new weapons in the new war bonds that are coming out. Uh, let me know in the comments below if this video helped you. Um, definitely uh, give it a like for the uh, help out the old algorithm there. It would be much appreciated. And subscribe if you like Helldivers and cross out content. As always, stay safe, take care of yourself and each other, 
And I will see you guys in the next video. The fact that I like to see that. Come.